Hello everyone. In this video, we will see how to create a VNet with public and private subnets and how to allow VNet to access the storage accounts. How to create a Windows VM in the public subnet with public IP and how to create a Linux VM in the private subnet without public IP. Just follow the steps. First, go to portal and create a resource group and create a VNet with two subnets. Create a resource group. Select your region which you want to create. Create. After your resource group created, you create a VNet. Select your resource group. Give region next IP address, yeah, it's default IP address and delete this default subnet and add a subnet. Subnet range and your gateway is none, services zero selected. Add your subnet and again add the subnet. Select your range. And then add next go to security yeah this version host is disable disable and firewall is also disable then review and create now create yeah wait two to three minutes Submitting deployment. Yeah, your deployment is in progress. Yeah, your VNet created successfully. Now create a storage account. Select your region and your redundancy, your performance tire, then go to advanced Click Enable Public Access from Selected VNets and IP Addresses. Now, your subscription and then select your VNet. Select your subnets. Then go to Data Protection, Encryption, Tax, then Review and Create. Deployment is in progress.
storage account created successfully now create a windows visual machine with public ip address and public subnet select your resource and your vm name and your region availability options no infrastructure density your image your ram size 3.5 allow the inbound ports next go to disk your desktop is premium next go to networking yeah your vnet and your subnet one is a public and then your public ip is a default ip created by azure then go to management the advanced tag review and create then create Yeah, your deployment is in progress. Wait a minute. your windows vm is created successfully So public IP, your VNet, and your private IP address. Then create another VM, Linux VM, with private IP and without public IP. Select your resource, Linux VM. the region and availability option standard ubuntu your ram size and your authentication type next allow the inbound ports then go to disk your os disk size default size allocated by azure if you want to change your disk size you can change 
your OS disk type then next go to networking your vnet your subnet and your public IP you can select none next go to management and advanced tags review and create your validation pass then create The deployment is in progress. Wait a minute. Yeah, our Linux VM is created successfully. Go to resource and check your IP details. Yeah, in this video, we will create a VNet and two subnets. One public subnet and one private subnet and then we will create one storage account to access a storage account vnet and then we created a two visual machines one windows visual machine with public ip and public subnet and another one is linux machine with pri private IP subnet without public IP. Thank you.